look at the Cartoon Network YouTube channel and you'll find clips, commercials, special videos, and minisodes. And what are minisodes, you ask? Minisodes, or minis, are short stories that are only 8 to 11 minutes long, and some are worth spending a short amount of time on. I have a link to the playlist of minis in the description in case you'd like to see these minis. My thoughts on these minis are based on creativity, animation style, and enjoyability. I hope you'll tune in for this list, because I'm starting right now. Hey, I'm Owen, the fiction fanboy, and here are my top five Cartoon Network minis. Number five, Tickle Wait. This was the last Cartoon Network mini to air on YouTube, and it took me by surprise when I watched it. Tiggy, an energetic human being, and Guiseek, his assistant slash pet cat, are an unlikely duo to find things that are lost, and when they accomplish finding the lost stuff, they report to the boss at the Department of Lost and Found. The boss asked the two to find a gadget that would give him instant muscles. Guiseek is a pretty smart cat, and I liked it when Tiggy somehow managed to correctly guess what happened to the exercise girl. That was truly a surprising turn of events, and it was a surprising twist that the boss of the Department of Lost and Found was the exercise girl's missing dog. I expected this to be just an ordinary human and cat story, but what I got was much better. You're going to like this mini if you like surprises. Number 4 12 Forever I'm surprised the animation here looks similar, but looks different at the same time when looking at other minis from Cartoon Network. A girl named Reggie has a fantasy world where she can stay 12 years old and never become a teenager or anything beyond that. The fantasy world is so colorful and Reggie can get whatever she wants. Everything in her world looks fantastic, except for the evil butt witch. She hates Reggie, and the witch's plan to turn Reggie into a baby didn't work because someone else ended up drinking the witch's curse. The butt witch loses, and even when the victim of the curse returns to normal, he still acts like a baby. There were one or two jokes the characters thought were bad, but they were pretty charming as well. This has to be the most colorful mini on this list, and it will delight those who want to feel young. Number 3 Welcome to my life The amazing world of Gumball is known for having cartoon characters in a live-action background. Welcome to my life had a similar concept, only with a different animation style. Douglas, aka T-Cash, is a monster who is trying to fit in with humans at high school. An interviewer is asking the main character how life is being different from everyone else. So think of it as a documentary, but a cartoon one. T-Cash finds a human he believes to be a human version of himself, but the human didn't like what Douglas said, and now they are going to fight when school is over. Lucas asks the bully to not fight, and the bully thought being the human version of Douglas isn't bad. Apologies are made, and they became friends. Never thought that a simple mini with a not-so-huge story would be so good to watch. Now I am wondering what a documentary about me would be like. Number 2 Victor and Valentino Coco and the Book of Life are great animated movies about the Day of the Dead. And yes, I know the mini came one year before Coco. The title boys are half-brothers who sell tacos, and after another food fight, the two follow a chihuahua-like creature that leads the boys to the underworld. The only way for Victor and Valentino to get out is by escaping a labyrinth before they die. The boys are offered items that will help them escape the maze right away, but one of the boys took a mask. They get out of the maze by offering tacos, and it turns out the mask from earlier is no ordinary mask, nor was it just for looking cool. It's a mask that makes the viewer see the dead. Just by seeing the mini, 
one could say this is Gravity Falls for Latin American culture celebrators, and that is wacky. I'll share some honorable minis, I mean honorable mentions, before I get to number one. Number 1. Infinity Train. I hope you weren't in a train car where another list about this topic exists, because that car probably wanted you to think that Infinity Train would not be number 1 on this list. Tulip, voiced by Ashley Johnson, is a girl who has been stuck on a train that never seems to end, and she's been stuck for a very long time. One one is Tulip's two-in-one robot companion. Each car on the train stands out from the others. One car was a puzzle, and another car was a fart car. Okay, wait a dang minute. Who the actual heck suggested that, and how did that make it into the mini? Like, oh my gosh, that was redonkulous. Going back to Tulip, there is a growing number on her head, and she has no clue on what it means. She encounters a new car full of dogs who are stalked by a creature called the Steward. The dogs believe that Tulip is the one destined to defeat it, and she manages to do that, and the glowing number on her hand managed to decrease. Not knowing what challenge awaits for Tulip next, the mini is over. For a mini that takes place on a train, the mini felt like a train ride full of mystery, adventure, and one or two doses of humor. And this is the train I'm willing to return to my seat for. Alright, I'd like to know in the comments which Cartoon Network minis are worth your short watch time. Like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, see you next time, and good night -o.